Good afternoon lovelies welcome back to my channel Lorraine here um, I'm going to do a flip through of a, a journal that I've made a nature themed journal um, but first of all I just want to say a uh, happy new year to you all um, I think like me majority of you will be glad to see the back of this year just gone for many reasons um, and I'm just hopeful that you'll have a, a lovely blessed 2021 um, and that all your dreams, hopes and expectations come to fruition. I'm just wishing you all well. Uh, another thing I want to say is thank you so much for the uh, new subscribers that have joined me. Um, thank you for taking a look and taking an interest in, in what I'm doing. Um, and welcome to the to the channel. Um, as always, I'm appreciative of the people that have been with me from from the start, and who have encouraged me um, in this journey. So thank you all again. So here I am. I'm I'm going to stop chatting, and I'm just going to show you this uh, this journal that I've made. I got. It was my birthday at the beginning of December and my beautiful daughter bought me um, the Edith Holden book. So I thought well, I'm going to have to make something with that. So I've used quite a bit of the Edith Holden book in here um, along with other kits and things. I'm not going to spend a lot of the video saying where I got things from. If, if, something, if I'm prompted by something then I will mention it otherwise. Um, I shan't, shan't take up a lot of your time talking about the different kits. Um, so, here it is. And um, I've got this lovely little dangle on with all different different textures, different things. There's satin ribbon, there's crocheted lace trim, there's some... I don't know what you call this, it's like a rope. But, um, tape, some more satin ribbon, some twine, some um, sari silk, some eyelash trim, it's got a wooden bead, a metal bead and a beautiful glass um, bead attached on there and a little wooden butterfly on the dangle. So that's it. Uh, I haven't measured it. So it's um, about just six and a quarter inches um, by eight and a half inches. Um, it's a hard cover that's been, I've used some cardstock and some digital paper on top. It's been stitched around. It's got this lovely lace trim hiding the, the spine. And I've used on here a topper that I've I've used up some uh, different stuff. I've the topper's been covered in in paper. That paper, that's the base, and this paper are actually placemats from the restaurants here. When you go, you get they put you a paper placemat down underneath on on the table. And some of them are so nice. I bring them home and we use them in crafting, card making, journal making. Um, so they're, they're really good use uh, and a good way of recycling paper instead of it going in the bin. So it's on a card, is the topper um, and I've used Edith Holding um, words, the writing, she's got beautiful writing didn't she, she had lovely writing. Uh, it's got some cheesecloth underneath here and um, some vintage music paper here, uh, uh, one of the Edith Holden images and some butterflies I think from Artemis. Uh, I've used eyelets on the cover um, and I've just put twine as the fastener with again with one of the butterflies on, on there so and it just loops through like that. So let me just check them. 
it's got two signatures I'm sorry I haven't counted how many pages but they'll probably be about 80 pages altogether so on the inside cover is this um, pocket I've made from um, vintage book pages and I've just put some of the Edith Holden um, again some of the text and one of the little images a little primula image and it's a double pocket inside the back pocket is this large journal card I'm not sure where this paper came from but I've got a a scrap here that I've I've just put along the edge it's been stitched around and it's backed onto just card uh, recycled card so you've plenty of journal journaling space there uh, the front pocket has um, a little tag um, that I've just collaged some again from uh, the Edith Holding book and a journal card here that I've distressed and stitched around and it's been backed with lined paper that's been distressed as well. Some lovely dig digital paper and stenciling on the back of that here um, is a little envelope um, oh, with nothing in so it needs a tag so I'll leave that there. it needs a tag going in inside the envelope and I haven't done much at all with this I've just distressed around the edge of it but it's as it comes Artemis is this um, another envelope that I've made using up some uh, cardstock that I've got that comes from the Nat Natural History Museum um, a paper pad of theirs and it's double sided and it just fit in with this nature theme so I turned one of the pages into an envelope and just tucked behind the envelope is this tag um, that it's a double tag I've stuck one tag on top of the other um, and it's got a little pocket here with a just a ticket inside Brad's with a, a little uh, specimen number on, on there and again just plain on the back for journaling and it's got some sari silk on there some more digital paper this is a coffee stain paper that I've spritzed with food colouring to bring out just to bring out the pinks um, I've tried to match the colours again more stenciling on that plain sheet and here is a collage journal card that I've used up lots of different bits from different kits again um, it's on it's on a, an antique book page again that I've um, oh gosh what's it called gessoed I've gessoed the, the the book page it's stitched around the edges and it's got lots of little um, bits of ephemera and a pocket here with two tiny little journaling cards in there playing again on the back for journaling space. I was going to stick it in but then you lose the amount of space on the back of it so I've left it as it is. On the back of that paper clip is another large tag um, that again I've, I've used some, it's a double one, I've, I've put another tag on top of the original one and then just decoupaged, collaged these little tag things on here. The butterfly is underneath some um, linen fabric with the nice frayed edges and again some cheesecloth on underneath that number tag uh, book pages um, a gardening from a gardening sheet I'm not sure where I've got that from again another botanical theme more stenciling um, again stenciling I love this stencil um, with the roses but I never seem to get a clear image but I quite like I quite like that again another page from um, the Natural History Museum paper pack and I've just put this little bee topper on, on there and it's um, a little tuck spot in that corner with another tag that I've just uh, put this stamp on playing again at the back I didn't put any fastening on that because it's tucked inside of there. 
um, more coffee stained paper and another book page from um, from um, a botanical book. Um, this is tea stained paper and I've used um, turmeric tea for this so you've got the yellow cast on that. Another one of the journal cards that I've uh, collaged, it's got some um, cheesecloth again, this butterfly um, plate and the little number tab and inside tucked inside there is one another large tag that I've um, I've put on different uh, bits of ephemera this has got some I um, can't remember the name it's like sackcloth but I can't remember its proper name and a little tag that's got this um, cloth ribbon on top for the tag I can't remember the name of that. Oh, that's what you get for having a few days rest. Some more digital paper. This is the turmeric tea again. Another double pocket that I've made from a vintage book and I've covered it with uh, different papers and bits of um, Edith Holden again. And inside of there is um, this lovely tag backed onto some green cardstock. It's got some satin ribbon at the top of that. And then this uh, little journal card that's just been distressed around the edges. <clears throat> it's got one of the wooden butterflies glued onto the front and another little journal card inside of there. And this butterfly sticker. I was really lucky at Christmas and my birthdays. Uh, family sent me stickers um, so I've been having a play with my stickers. Coffee stained paper again and again just another little topper that I've just put on the pages just to break up the, the page. But plenty of journal space here. This centre uh, page from the first signature I've put, uh, these are pages from um, Margaret Wilson's book Wildflowers and again these are watercolours that she did and uh, it's a beautiful little book and I've, I've used it quite a lot in journals and on cards um, and it's a shame because it's double <laughs> double sided and it's always um, a challenge deciding which side to use if only I could use the both but you can't so. and inside of these are large tags um, again it's another sticker from one of my collection that I've got recently and again another one with a, a lovely sticker on the front of there. Coffee stained. I've scrunched that before I did it and it's it's got all this crinkly effect and I like I like that. Here is um, a large journal card um, I think Mrs Coggs but don't quote me on that and I've just I've fixed it in but you can flip it over so you've got journaling space in in there. Digital paper and again some more turmeric tea stained paper and just put this little bee topper on there. Again some more book page from um, a plant book. I like using these, they're nice. And here um, a rose different roses aren't they on, on this one um, a postcard that I've turned into a pocket and inside the pocket is this little journal card that I've stitched around it's backed onto card and another tag that I have done nothing with I've just left it plain so you can either decorate it or write on it and it's on um, like a watercolour card so it's quite you could actually draw a paint on on the back of there if you wished Again, some more Edith Holden um, that I've made into this corner pocket tuck thing and another of the large tags. Just got some garden twine on the top of that and again, another sticker. Some more Edith Holden on this page just to break up the whiteness of that page but plenty of journaling space. Again, the book page. Um, another pocket that I've made using um, I've 
again vintage uh, book pages and uh, I don't know where this hydrangea came from the hydrangea paper I've had it in my stash for quite a while and this is another sticker which is uh, lovely um, it's got a large tag um, with orchids I think it is in the back and a little journal card here that's been stitched and left blank some more Edith Holden on this page stenciling on this one here um, it's coffee stained with the spritzed food colouring again but I've also stenciled over some of the roses it's only faint and I'm not sure the camera will pick it up again spritzed paper and here is um, an envelope that I've made from again from the vintage book page and I've used some um, just digital paper I'm not sure where I've got this from inside is a little journal card and some of the text from Edith Holden on that side and here again and again on the back Some more stenciling and again just one of the stickers that I've got from my Christmas stash. I love this paper, this page with the eggs on. Some more um, stenciling, some more stenciling on this coffee dyed paper as well. Another pocket from uh, the paper pack with a large tag inside and again um, a sticker from my new collection another book page from the gardening book I think actually it's houseplant book lovely fern tea stained again and spritzed here I've made um, this paper was a mistake I printed and it didn't work out properly the, I don't think it got stuck or something in the printer but I thought I'm not wasting because it's so nice even with it's got stripes on but you can't really see them very much so I just put one of the large butterflies on and it's a belly band and inside the belly band is a large tag and some journaling paper just tucked in behind that belly band um, this is a lovely digital paper more stenciling and the book page spritzed paper again uh, here's another um, decoupage and I've gessoed over a book page and made this pocket into a tuck spot um, it's got the little pocket at the front with a little uh, ticket glued to the front of it and it's got two smaller tags inside of there and behind is this lovely postcard, uh, journaling card. I've put it onto an index card on the back of there. Again, Edith Holden um, from one of the pages. Some more stenciling, digital paper. Another pocket with a little pocket. I'm sorry, my hands might be in the way. With a little pocket. Um, made from this little bird tag and inside a journal card again some more of the Margaret Wilson book um, and it's the same as the other signature it's got two um, large tags inside there Edith Holden um, a cold tit and a great tit probably fighting and um, a journal card, I think this is from Artemis. Another pocket, double pocket from book pages that I've used again, Edith Holding um, on top of there. This is one of the images of these, I don't know if they're mushrooms or toadstools, a tag inside of there and a larger tag again with another sticker on there. another sticker another pocket from um, 
and that lovely beautiful they are there's some really nice pages in fact this is one of the pages from this kit as well and I've just turned this into a, a pocket and then inside the pocket is a little tag again plain on though it's not plain on the back I've put some lined paper on the back so a little journaling space inside of there um, another large journal card that I've turned into a corner pocket it's been stitched around and distressed around the edges and another one of those postcards uh, left blank for journaling some more of the book some beautiful colours and images in there and I've just put a little tab on there just life is beautiful and here is um, a flip out uh, it's been collaged it's got some cheesecloth on there and this lovely little orchid uh, take it on top this for stamp on top of there and when you open it up you've got a pocket at this side that's been um, collaged on inside is this wood sorrel journal card and this little butterfly tag in there and on this uh, pocket I left it torn I liked the torn edge on there this is from again from Edith Holden book and the names of birds so I just put this bird tag on here and it's got a little journal card inside of there some again stenciled paper another double um, pocket made from the book page and Edith Holden images and text on top it's got um, a journal card inside and a larger journal card at the top there so that's that one that's the first one of this year completed so I hope you like it um, and if you do please just leave me comments give me a thumbs up um, just let me know you've been and enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much for watching bye